source pad is a pad too, so check out what we'll do with it. saw that so we're we're using the pad as we're using the external source as a pad so that's the lesson there the external source is a pad this applies to the 4042 incidentally you pattern sequence users I don't use the pattern sequence function nothing against it I just don't no fun for live but uh, it is recorded the trigger state of the external source so use that uh, and so second so I'm going to do a little drumming and run a little finger drumming as I told you I got to warm up still for tonight's show 10 o'clock loudest battery pirate show on uh, earth come back for that uh, when I do that I'm going to be playing with the external source that's over here and you guys will see that's one way to use it here we go hello welcome to the
you're actually watching a warm-up for tonight's show, 10 o'clock. I need to warm up, as you can clearly see. But uh, hopefully that was a relatively clear demonstration of the uh, of the uh, external s exploding the external source pad. So, sorry, I'm probably getting really bad vocals here. Some of you, some of you, if you've seen the show before, know that I tend to get distracted like that really quickly. And with this, so that's bound to happen a few times. So if you get bored, stay tuned. Every few minutes, I get distracted and start playing drums. Uh, and uh, for the uninitiated, this isn't hip hop or anything like that. It's actually avant-garde with too many. Oops. It's actually avant-garde with too many beats, is what it really is. Uh, so I just um, got a lot of beats on it. Anyways, so. We covered the external source lesson, the second lesson, and the final one for this quick thing that I'm putting together here is really going to blow your mind. So remember I told you about treating the source pad as a pad, so triggering it on and off. Try that with a synth, external source or something like that. Don't run it on an arpeggiator. It could just be a flat note. Try it with drones. Try it with your voice, mic, whatever. Crazy stuff. If I could rap, man, what you could do with that. Anyways, here's another tip. These buttons up here, they're freaking pads too. So let me show you what I mean.
Sorry about that mic noise there. Okay, so I think we covered that. These buttons up here, they're pads too, dudes, if you can fit your fingers on them. And, uh, and so, oh, I forgot to cover the most important lesson that I, apparently nobody thought was possible. Learn to double on the 404 pads. Just do that forever, man. Over and over until you're tight and fast, right? Use your thumbs for the kicks. And it's all patterns, man, and moving your hands around. That's it, patterns and moving your hands around. And practice, practice, practice. And study classic drummers, man. Study Gene Krupa. And no, not Krupa. Krupa's my, my guy. I'm, I'm copying his style. You go get somewhere else. Go get your own to copy. The monster, maybe. I'm the monkey. Okay, hey, you guys. Uh, I think I'm done. Um, I probably, I don't know how much of that stream survived. Probably got a little too much attention. Thanks for tuning in. This footage is going to be on YouTube. Check me out on YouTube. Die Master Monkey. Come back for the show tonight, 10 p.m. PST. That was my warm up. Yes, I need to practice and warm up. So that's what that was. I was also showing off some tips there. Uh, hope you guys come back later. Uh, subscribe and you'll find out about all kinds of unscheduled shows just like this one. Stay uh, true. Stay low. Stay monkey, kids. Monkey out. Walking up and down on the turning down song, you crazy?